Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we're going to build, as you can see here, a tri-state polarity indicator. It's a pretty simple circuit to use. Why do I keep clicking the wrong button? And it's a pretty simple circuit to make. There we go. We will get our VCC and ground indicators and put them in. Actually, we won't need a VCC, but we will need a ground indicator. I just always start with those, so that's why I thought about that. So we're going to start out with a 5 millimeter green LED in this configuration. And then we're also going to throw in, that's a 3 millimeter away. I'm just having a little bit of an off morning there, aren't I? Okay. There's our five millimeter green. Then we also need a five millimeter red, and they need to be in opposite polarities, just like this. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is connect them together like so. Then we're going to need a resistor. Since we're mainly dealing with 12 volts and less, it's going to put in 1K resistor will be good. Like so. Are you following me so far? You'll get it in a second if you're not. Trust me. It's a pretty simple circuit. All right, next we're going to need one more diode. We use a 1N 4007. We're going to build a parallel circuit kind of like this. One more resistor. Kind of like that. And we will connect them together like so. And then this end here, is going to connect to our ground like that. And then what we need is a probe. So we'll just use a, a male header, kind of like that. Now, basically, that's our circuit. So what we have is our probe right here, which brings the current in. If it is a positive signal, we will get the red LED. Current will continue to flow through here. And flow through here, bleed off to a ground. Come back through there as well, if it's AC. If it's not AC, you're just going to get the red or the green. If it is AC, you're going to get both. And that's the circuit. Now, let's make it into a PCB. All right, so we're going to make our PCB about 90 millimeters long, probably about 30 millimeters high, something like this. Let's get our components out of there. And what we're going to do now, we are going to adjust this just to make it oops. Trying to get this thing even. There. 
that looks pretty even. Now for our top layer, the first thing we need is our probe. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a thick piece, like a, like a diode leg or something in there, a thick piece of metal. Yep, I made a mistake here. We're going to have to go back to here. And I forgot to add a ground lead. So I will add in the ground lead. I want to mark it too. That's ground. And this is probe. So we'll save that. Update our PCB. Oh, I didn't save the PCB. Hang on. I right, save the PCB. Now we can update our PCB. Good. So now we have our ground lead where we can put on, you know, an alligator clip or whatnot. Then we're going to put in our LEDs. Remember the first one we put in is green. The second one we put in is red. Then we can put in our resistors. And this diode. Now what we'll do is we will line up <clears throat> the vertical centers of all of those. We'll line up the centers on these. And we'll line up the centers on these, but the horizontal centers. Also line up the horizontal. Whoops, I didn't go. Try that now. Horizontal, there we go. Horizontal. And finally, we'll line up the centers on these guys. as well. Give it a quick save. Now we'll go to the top silk layer. And we will add in our happy bear. And I'll add in some text, but you don't have to watch that. I'll be right back. All right, so there we got everything pretty well drawn up. We'll save that again. And get ready to route it. I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to routing, so we'll be using the auto router. Uh-oh. Let's try again. I think we've done a route. Let's uh, have a look at the 3D version. Look something like this, except there's going to be a probe facing forward here, and this will just be soldered to a uh, uh, alligator clip. All right, so I think we're good. So next thing we need to order our boards, and we're going to be ordering them from PCBWay. <clears throat>
not only are they a major sponsor of this channel, but they've been in this business for eight years and they make stuff quickly and they make it very, very well. So we're going to do the quick order PCB. We're going to add our Gerber file that we just put in. This one is called Tri-State Polarity. Sometimes it doesn't show you the Gerbers here, but they'll be there. Don't worry. So five of these in red, white silk screen. There's our tick mark. And it is simply that easy to send these off. All right, I got the boards back, and they're looking pretty cool. Not bad, yeah? Now check out what they put in the package for me. A little 3D printed uh, PCB Way logo. Very nice looking. Look at that. That is, that is smooth. Like, there are no lines on that at all and i think yeah that's glow in the dark thanks pcb way i appreciate that so i believe i've got all of our parts here and we'll get started putting them in and we're going to put this thing together in just a couple minutes these are our 1k current limiting resistors And really their main purpose in this, other than keeping the LEDs from exploding, is just to keep the brightness down so we're not blinding anybody who's using these. We also have a diode here for polarity control. We'll get that guy in there. And we'll solder them all up. All right. Here we go. This is a really simple project. Like I said, I think it would be something interesting for the kids to mess with. Understanding the polarity is a key step, I think, in... Um, you know, understanding electricity and electronics in general. So we are like a week away from Blake heading off to college. He's terrified. I'm terrified because, well, he is an intelligent boy. He's not worldly. Like, when I left actually this house that I'm in now the house I grew up in at 18 I never spent another night in this house until my parents died and I inherited the house uh, Blake's just not like that he's different so we'll put our green LED on the bottom and our red LED on the top and of course it might all not all be that Blake is different because I heard a quote a while back and it, and it really resonated with me what they said was you can't raise your children the way you were raised because the world that you were raised in doesn't exist anymore and it doesn't you know I was I grew up in the 70s. I was a teenager in the 80s. You know, the 90s were my 20s. It was a it was a really 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 different world then. We weren't worried about mass shootings or anything. You know, now sending him off to college scares the hell out of me. But I don't tell him that. Just tell them everything will be fine. 
because I have to be the rock whether I want to be or not. All right now we need to put on the uh, grounding clip. So I'm going to strip some. Oh, careful with that one there, Paul. There we go. So I'm going to strip some wire off there and bit right through it. So this is our grounding clip, strap, whatever you want to call it. Then I'm just going to bite that extra off there, just like so. And what we need next is a nice strong pin for our probe. Large diodes. Like this one, this is a 1N540. They've got great big thick pins on them that work really well for this kind of thing. So what I want to do is just kind of stick that in there. Like so, make sure that it is actually poking through a little bit just a little bit just the tip mind you then we'll put a little pressure to hold it in place a little solder there let that cool And there we have it. Let's find out if it actually works. All right, ECB for you, a nano. So let's plug it in. We will connect our ground clip here to the ground rail. And then if I touch the positive rail, unfortunately we're gonna get a red light because if you looked at the uh, schematic I put in there I labeled them backwards so it should be red positive green negative for instance if I come here I touch V in there's our positive voltage coming in ground gives us nothing reset but the benefit of this is you can just come down on something like this and see which pins are active which pins are not active and what the polarity is. Now, if I switch this around and I attach the ground lead to the positive and then I probe the ground, you can see the green is lit up. So, so oh, did I see one? Yeah, right there. Oh, ground. That's what I was going to see. One negatively biased? Yep, ground. I said I wasn't expecting that. But anyway, there you go. I will put these boards on PCBWay's website. If you decide to buy them, just swap your green and red LEDs around, and it will work just fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCBWay. For keeping me in business here and a big thanks to all the patrons i wouldn't be here without you guys if you're not a patron please check out the link down below and consider joining it's a buck a month and it keeps the channel alive and keeps me bringing you videos unless you don't want any videos in which case don't join patreon see if i care that's it i'm out peace